12 o'clock in this uh, position on yeah, the high ground, you've got a prominent saddle. Yeah. Okay, that saddle there is our access to the gun line. Okay. Right. What we'll do is we'll take some, uh, take some shots at the snowbank and then we'll walk down and we'll see what damage it's done. And then we'll go down here and then we'll go down here and then we'll go down here. Great defensive positions, going in the field, hard back snow, it's pretty much your only option. Respected target, your target is up and home. Stand by. Target.
Bermuda skylight, where you've got the sun shining on it, it's a bit whiter. Exercise Gold Response is an amazing opportunity for uh, key NATO partners to come together in the most challenging environment of the high north uh, and prepare for contingencies and learn to work together. And what we'll see is uh, a strong maritime uh, task group, task force, uh, air play and then uh, some land exercises. And we'll see many, many nations to coming together from the UK uh, to the Norwegians, the French, uh, the Germans and the Italians. So uh, it's going to be an incredible opportunity and I'm certainly looking forward to it. NATO as an alliance need to be ready for anything, and ready for all environments. Uh, and it's essential for us um, to support Norwegian partners, be able to operate in the Arctic. And uh, that's why we train here so often. Uh, the Marines in the UK are uh, one of two very high redness formations. And we really are the, the tip of the spear uh, for the conventional UK force. And we take that responsibility, responsibility uh, really clearly because we need to exploit the maritime flank. We need to uh, open theatres for others, be out there uh, gaining an understanding and intelligence, being ready for crisis and then ready to contribute to the fight. And that's something that we take seriously every day. The temperature and the weather, obviously the biggest challenge out here, um, factored in with everything else as well, but that specifically, uh, especially out on the water because we've got um, the wind chill as well as obviously the, the water that freezes instantly as well. And if we're heading off down, as a, down the fjord at a boat group at like 30 knots into a 30 knot wind, it can quickly become down to minus 60 plus. So we've got, we've got to take that into consideration as well. Training here in Norway is, um, just brings the best out of people as well. Pulling together, you've got to check each other, other off constantly. Call it the buddy buddy system. Um, everything you do, you constantly check in, make sure no one's got any skin showing so there's no potential uh, cold weather injuries there. Um, but just being resilient out here, you've got to be, have mental toughness to sort of carry on with the, uh, with the task as well as dealing with all the conditions out here. Uh, you, you, you'll deal with it the, the same way we deal with any, any situation. You just adapt to make the best of what you've got and, and get on with it. And everyone pulls together to achieve what they need to achieve.